Hi right, guys. It is just suddenly gone from a beautiful fall day. Beautiful sunny fall day. Less than 30 minutes ago, just into just this, uh, just out of nowhere, just the, this fucking blah, cloudy, yuck day. I was 30 minutes ago, I was, uh, had no shirt on and was barefooted. Now I'm in a sweatshirt, a goose down vest, and my mucklucks here on this just suddenly gloomy, depressing Thursday afternoon, November 15th, uh, 2018. So here I sit again, uh, just sitting out here in my little doomsday barn with my little dog with my thumb up my ass figuring out what the fuck am I doing with myself now. Uh, so since I've got nothing better to do, then I'm just going to sit here and whine for a few minutes about my fucked up, just, just worthless excuse for a life. Now, I'm supposed to be right now at the Austin airport picking up a friend uh, who is supposed to be coming in and spending the weekend and which I had all planned out uh, and then I guess that just changed as of about 10 o'clock last night my plans for tonight all day tomorrow tomorrow night all day Saturday Saturday night just a fucking evaporated because I have no idea why but uh, anyway so things have changed so uh, here I am again with a completely fucking just blank slate going into another goddamn weekend in Austin, Texas. So uh, I'm, I'm lined up, uh, the, at least I will be house sitting uh, in, in South Austin somewhere where there's actually central heat. Uh, so I have some central heat to look forward to uh, as I sit around alone with my thumb up my ass for another Friday and Saturday night uh, in, in Austin, Texas. And there you go. That's, uh, that, 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 that's my life. Uh, from here until at least the middle of the day Sunday, I have absolutely zero plans. I guess I have my ecological meltdown roundup rant to do tomorrow. And uh, other than that, it's just it's just sitting around. Uh, you know, waiting for winter to come creeping in. Well, winter's already crept in. You know, it's, it's been down in the fucking mid-twenties uh, every night this week. Uh, it looks like my garden is, is, is hanging on. Uh, you know, this, this hard freeze came in at, at, at not a good time for my little, my little seedlings. You know, I, I was a couple of weeks later, you know, I planted this garden on August 5th. I should have had it in about, if I'd had it in about two weeks earlier, uh, these tender little seedlings would uh, probably be weathering the storm. But I guess this set back too, it'll just set them back. Uh, a couple of weeks, assuming that uh, these hard freezes blow out, so I get to sit here and watch my garden just kind of do this, uh, which is pretty much, uh, I, I, I guess, what I'm doing as, as I just 
you know, I, as, as I just simply try to make one fucking plan with, uh, with another human being on this planet, th that, that doesn't just go ass up in the fucking air. Uh, it, it, it's just, you know, it, it's just completely fucking pointless to try to be part of the goddamn human race anymore. It, you know, it, it really is. Uh, you, you can't depend on anybody but yourself. And again, uh, of course, I'm the last person I can depend on. Uh, it just over and over and over. Uh, I, I, you know, I get this lesson uh, drilled into my fucking head that uh, if you ever, ever make fucking plans that depends on another human being uh, to make the same plan uh, as you're making, you're, you're gonna get fucked. So, anywho's. Uh, and I'm and, and I'm not blaming this on on, on this other d dude. I, I mean, this other guy who, who's a buddy of mine. Uh, it, it, you know, again, it's it, it's it's not like I'm blaming uh, this dude for for being a flake. That really isn't it. I, I, I mean, he has shit going on in his own life, dealing with other fucking humans. You know, he's a, he's in the position of of, uh, of 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 making too many promises to too many people. Uh, when you do that, when when you have fucking people pulling at you from different directions, you know you're just gonna have to choose, uh, you know who to shuffle around. It's uh, it, it, it's it's all just it, it, it's all just getting back to to human interaction. Uh, I get fucked because he doesn't want to get fucked by, by somebody else. Uh, you, you know, it's past the fuck. Uh, again, it's, you know, I'm not blaming myself or my buddy in this case. It's just, it's just one more example uh, of the absolute uh, hopeless pointlessness of, of just trying to interact uh, w with real humans, I mean, it, it's just like, it, you know, it's just like another version of, of this whole fucking little internet dating uh, thing that I'm going on, you, you know, with my little imaginary girlfriends uh, out, out there in cyberspace trying to make a real world connection with, uh, w with another human being in a planet of seven and a half billion fucking people on this planet. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm within a 30 minute drive of uh, probably at least a thousand people uh, who I know. But probably at least a hundred, uh, at least a hundred people within thirty minutes of me right now. If you mention my name to them, they would say, "Yeah, Hambone's a buddy, you know, a friend of mine." Uh, you know, there's there's dozens and dozens of people uh, within thirty minutes of me right now claiming that they are my friend, and 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 they would not be lying by saying that. Uh, but do you think one of them it, it, it is going to make a fucking appearance uh, in, in my life? Uh, you know? Just other people, just dealing with other fucking people. It's, it, 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 it's a lot of fucking work. You know, just trying to make one plan with one fucking human uh, on, on this planet of 7.6 billion people. Uh, just, you know, every time I try to do it, it just goes to fucking hell. Uh, no wonder that I, that I just hang out here uh, on, on, 
my little social media, talking to my little imaginary friends, hanging out with Sancho Panza, with my little dog. You know, here's, here's my friend. This right here, this little dog right here is the one other being on this fucking planet uh, that I can trust halfway as far as I can throw him. You know, to have my back. Uh... <sighs> So what do I, so what what are what are my plans after this rant is finished? Well, the fucking sun's going down. Uh, you, you know, it's pitch black, fucking dark. It's six o'clock now. Six fucking o'clock. I'm gonna be back in my little eight foot by ten foot bedroom, uh, turning on uh, the goddamn computer. Uh, you know, checking my emails, checking my comments uh, on my YouTube channels. All that will take about 20 minutes. And then I'll be sitting there. It'll be 6 o'clock uh, in, in the fucking night. And uh, I, I've just got six hours of, of just this blank fucking space in my life to fill up so I could you know, knock back a, a couple of shots of tequila, get a little buzz going on, uh, drag my ass back fucking bed, uh, you know, after midnight, uh, pull the goddamn covers up over my head, and, and then get up tomorrow morning and, and figure out what the fuck to do with my life tomorrow. Uh, you know... So what what have I managed to do? Well, when was I? Well, I, I was sitting here in this chair, and this where it was one week ago, or right about now exactly, that I was sitting in this very chair uh, with my little dog out here in this room, uh, and whining uh, about my fucking life, and and. What the fuck have I accomplished in the past week? What was I what was I even whining about a week ago? I can't even remember what the fuck I was whining about. Just the, you know, just the usual broken record whine. Uh, oh yeah, I was talking about uh, all these various Netflix uh, documentaries. So I have actually spent uh, the last week watching the entire six-part, six-hour-long, actually they're over an hour, so close to seven hours of my empty, worthless life. I've been watching this um, Netflix documentary called Wild Wild Country, which I really do highly recommend. If your life is as miserable and empty and worthless as mine is, and uh, you have no idea how to actually interact with other living human beings on the planet without uh, getting fucked over or having something fucked up or whatever, and, and, and you're finding yourself alone with your thumb up your fucking ass in your own empty little miserable goddamn worthless life, uh, I would highly recommend this six-part series, uh, Wild Wild Country, you know, which is uh, about that um, goddamn cult, the, uh, you know, following that guy who for most of his time was called Bhagwan Rajneesh, although he called himself Osho, Osho, in the last few years of his life, and about... Um, how the, 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 this fucking uh, hypocritical uh, bag one of shit, uh, Raj shit niche, uh, w w with these goddamn clueless fuck.
fucking morons throwing their lives away to, to follow the, the, this goddamn charlatan with, with his goddamn 20 Rolls Royces and his fucking Rolex watches and his two Lear jets. Uh, you, you, you know, uh, just taking the, the, this little, I, I have no idea where the guy even came from, uh, what his history was, uh, and, 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 and just, just giving all of their power away to this guy, uh, you know, and then they moved over there and, and took over this ranch up there in this little small town, uh, this tiny little town in Oregon, in Antelope, Oregon, when, when these goddamn clueless fucking morons uh, who were being not only uh, fucked over by this, by this uh, guru, but uh, completely being brainwashed by this evil fucking bitch uh, who was the the guy's uh, little whatever, a right hand man or woman. Uh, it, it, anyway, so I sat there and watched this thing, and I guess that the that the filmmakers did a pretty good job of being objective documentary makers because I quickly learned that I hated everybody. You know, both sides. Uh, you know, where usually, you know, you choose a team, the red team or the blue team or whatever. You know, you choose your team. But, but watching this, watching this documentary, uh, just getting more and more into the in, in, into the story and into the minds and the worldviews. First, you have these clueless fucking morons on this side, and, and, and then you've got these clueless fucking right wing conservative uh, Christians and, and these goddamn cops on this side. Uh, I wanted the whole fucking bunch of them. Uh, to go fuck themselves. Uh, I, both sides made me want to puke. Uh, you know? Uh, did just every, every single person uh, in the entire documentary was a fucking scumbag or a clueless moron. There was not one fucking person on either side. Well, I kind of liked one of the guys... Uh, in the little town, uh, he was he was okay. Uh, he did the best of, of trying to see both sides. Um, so, I, I do think the documentary filmmakers did a pretty good job of showing both sides. And anyone with a fucking brain looking at both sides would, would clearly understand that both sides are full of fucking shit. And like most humans, it, 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 it was the shits against the turds. They can all go fuck themselves. Every goddamn one of them. The clueless fucking moron throwing the morons throwing their lives away at, the, at this fucking uh, little whatever, this little maggot, Osho or whoever the fuck he was, spouting out all of his goddamn shit, driving around in his fucking uh, Rolls Royces, fucking all of these beautiful little clueless goddamn bimbo hippie chicks. Uh, an unbelievable amount of pussy that th this little fucktard got riding around in his goddamn uh, Rolls Royces and flying around in his fucking Lear jets, uh, talking about what a fucking ascended master Osho, which is Japanese for master, I believe. Uh, you know what? Good God, that the whole fucking bunch of them made me want to puke. And uh, and so you, you know that this this uh, one dude uh, who you can have 
any empathy for. He was kind of, you know, trapped uh, uh, between the two sides. And I believe, I think he got the very, very last quote of the show. So the, the hilarious irony in this, and, and this is a spoiler alert, so if you're going to watch it, don't listen to this because I'm, I'm going to tell you how it ends. So what happens at the very, very end when you get the, you find out, uh, you know, so it takes four years. It takes four years uh, for the little town and the, and the cops to uh, run this little fucktard and, and, and his band of um, clueless, spineless, little uh, ass-licking toadies out of their town. So they get rid of, of this cult. And, and who do you think ends up taking over the, uh, the ranch? that, the, that uh, the, the, these goddamn morons built was this bunch of clueless fucking evangelical Christians. So what they, what they did literally for about 30 seconds, and, and, you, and you can draw your own conclusion, so they go in there, uh, the documentary filmmakers, for about the last two minutes of this six-hour, seven-hour documentary, they go in there for the ultimate punchline, and they show the, these goddamn clueless moron uh, Christians looking a hell of a lot like the, the goddamn cultist, clueless fucking ass-licking toadies looked that the Christians and, and the cops uh, ran out of ran out of town. Are you following me? What the the ultimate joke is, is is that the people who moved in there were every bit as much of a cult as the people they ran out. And uh, and and what did the guy say? Uh, you know, the guy kind of laughing. You know, he basically said. That, that, that in, in effect, they traded one cult for another up there. That's exactly. And he goes, well, at least the, uh, the new cult, you know, meaning these goddamn clueless fucking moron evangelical Christians who are every bad, bit as bad as the people ran out, he goes, at least they traded in orgies for abstinence. They traded orgies for abstinence. And at least they're not running around waving AK-47s, which the original cult men, you know, these peace and love hippies were armed to the fucking teeth. You should have seen the fucking guns uh, that, that these goddamn peace-loving, uh, all is peace, love, and happiness arming themselves to the fucking teeth. Um, you know, so that's it. It's it, it's orgies or it's abstinence. Like they like there's no fucking middle ground. Uh, and, and for the record, I've been to orgies and I have been abstinent. Uh, going on eleven months, my latest uh period of abstinence, and I could I could use a fucking orgy in my life about now. I, I, I don't need a fucking orgy. A, you know, just one goddamn girlfriend uh, might be nice. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just completely hopeless, people. Humans, I, I don't give a flying fuck uh, what side of the fence they're on. Uh, they're, they're, they're just fucking clueless morons. Every goddamn fucking human being on this planet. We're a bunch of goddamn clueless fucking morons. Uh, we will fuck each other. We don't fuck each other one way. We'll fuck each other the other way. Uh, we're, we're, we're just a bunch of bunch of fucking ass licking backstabbing toadies where we're, we're, we're licking somebody's asshole and, and, we're, and we're stabbing somebody else in the back. Uh, it, it's one or the other or both at the same time. And uh, if you try to go through this fucking life without being an, uh, a, a, 
an ass-licking toady or, or, or a backstabbing traitor, uh, once again, you're going to find yourself uh, sitting here alone uh, with, with your, uh, you know, with your fucking thumb up your ass talking to your little imaginary friends. Uh, you know, uh, pick your poison. Do you want to be a fucking ass-licking toady and, and, and hang around a bunch of other ass-licking toadies? Or do you want to be a fucking uh, backstabber and, and, and run around with your goddamn backstabbers? Uh, you know, there, there's two ways to fuck people. All right, I see I have some sunshine creeping back for the last 20 minutes of warmth. So uh, maybe I will uh, wrap up this week's whine and uh, get back to, to reading. This is my new book to cheer me up, Gravity's Rainbow. Gravity's Rainbow by Thomas Pinchon. Look at this. It makes it makes Don Quixote uh, look like Sea Spot Run. Good God! What is this? 1,700 pages or something? L look at this shit, guys. I lost my fucking mind. Uh, Gravity's Rainbow. I. Uh, <laughs> I do like the title, and so uh, I guess next week, oh yes, one week from today, will be Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, where apparently it looks like on Thanksgiving I will be spending Thanksgiving with my little dog. Uh, I, I have absolutely zero plans for Thanksgiving. So uh, I will be back in, in one week with my annual thank, depressed collapsitarian Thanksgiving whine uh, about, the, uh, about things not to be grateful for, yeah, things in my life not to be grateful about. Here we go with another fucking Thanksgiving, and, and then the day after I get to start my goddamn uh, three weeks of, of hell uh, selling Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons for the Optimist Club. Uh, that, that's what I get to look forward to starting uh, one week from tomorrow. Uh, so I'd better enjoy it my last week of freedom while I still can. Uh, before I get kidnapped by the fucking Optimus Club to uh, give myself a fucking hernia and break my fucking back selling fucking Christmas trees to clueless fucking morons for the Optimist Club to get me through till Christmas and and then we uh, and, and, and then I and then I get to figure out what the fuck I, I, I'm gonna do for fucking Christmas and, and then figure out do I stick around here all fucking summer do I go back to fucking Florida like I did last year and, and you know and drive around like a fucking clueless moron like a goddamn little gerbil going around in his fucking wheel like some fucking goldfish swimming back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, fuck my life. This is a fucking joke. Bye, guys.